recording. Okay, so I wanted to do just a very, very quick video that could be helpful if you're like me. I'm gaming on my new TV, the LG OLED B9. I'm gonna do more gaming, but I have it connected to my main computer. And for G-Sync to work, you need to switch the television to be the main monitor. And the normal kind of way is you go into the system, you make sure you click your TV or second monitor, that matter, and you press make this my main display. Then also you might need to switch. This is uh, my audio output from my computer. This is going to be depending on how you, it's connected and everything, but for me, I use HDMI out to my amplifier, you know, and the television, so I need to swap the audio out, and then I can game on my TV, you know, the second monitor or whatever, and you get all the HDR working, you get all the G-Sync, everything. But it's not really the best way, it's not as smooth as way. And I found out this little, uh, you know, you go to this web page, earsoft.net, uh, use this and near command. And you should be careful because this can do a lot of interesting stuff. You're going to focus on very simple stuff. So you scroll down. And this is my version because I have a 64-bit Windows 10 system. And this is if you have Windows 7, 8 or other older non 64 bit, most likely this is what you want. And I place this in uh, on my desktop. You can place it, you know, different stuff we're really gonna have or place we're gonna go through that. And you can then do this, you can just extract it, and it's to go. So now you got the folder, and here you have it. Now, let's right click and do new. Just choose text document. And make sure that you can see the extension. You can probably see a file name extension if you cannot see the ext part. And you can name it to something that you prefer. And then you put dot .bat and you accept. You go edit. This is just blank. And this is one. Don't uh, focus too much. Focus on this one. Uh, this isn't uh, super necessary, but it could not hurt to have it. This is the main one that you're going to need to focus, and I'm going to explain them both. So, don't just copy my setting, you need to follow my ways here. So, we go to the settings system. So, first of all, you need to press like identify and check that one and two, this one. For me, is my television, so th therefore I will put this number here because this will set my primary display to 2, and this 2 is my TV. Very important. This ne you need to sh make sure because it could be 1 or 3 or something else for you. Now, let's continue on. You can pause it if you need it. We get this. As I said, this is the audio part. This might not be necessary for you. It depends on how you output audio from your computer. So, set default sound device. And if you look at speakers, this is my computer in built-in sound card. And then we have LG TV. Ignore the ones that are from there. Only the first part is in important. 
So you put it like this between these quotes and you leave it. It's going to be exactly like this one. And this might be different depending on your sound configuration. And if you don't change audio output when you game on your television, you don't need this at all. You can just ignore this one. But I want to switch from my computer sound card output audio to true HDI, uh, HDMI to the television. And this is also important. It needs to be a one. Because that will set uh, playback, you know, gaming, uh, Spotify, Netflix, uh, that kind of, that type of sound will make the, the default. So this got to be a one, depend no matter what, it should be a one. Okay, then I like to add this part. Uh, well, you need to add this part. Pause. This means that unless you press a key, nothing will be done. You know, you can put whatever you like down here, it will not happen unless you press a key. So, this is also a very important part. Then you can basically take this one, and take that, and do this. And obviously, we want to switch back because when we start this script, it will change to the television, make it the default, and we'll get the audio to the television. Then we will pause, we'll do nothing until we tell it to. And when we tell it to, you know, press the key, we want it to be default again. So, primary display, in my case, will be 1, my main monitor. As I said, this 1. And then, I want to switch the audio back, and I can see speakers. That's what I want to have my audio be. And I'm going to be sure it's, it's a, yeah, it's a big S here. Me. So I type it exactly as it says. There we go, and I want this one because I want it to be the multimedia audio type, you know, the audio sound output of games application. Because if you were to accidentally press a 2, that would mean it's your primary communication device, like your microphone and stuff like that. So we don't want that, we just want the audio output to change. So now, you just save this one. So, when you double click or start this file, it will switch to your television, it will switch the audio device to your preferred, then it will just be paused. I'm going to show you how it looks, but I'm not going to activate this script, uh, because I don't know how OBS will handle it. But another final thing is that you, can, you don't have to have this on your desktop. You can move this folder anywhere you like, and then you just take this one, drag it to, again, you can drag it to this place, create a shortcut here, or to your desktop, and create a shortcut here. And then you can, you know, you can rename it. Now, the final tip is that I would like to show is this one, and shortcut option, this one. If we use minimized, that will mean that if we do so. This is normal. This is how it will look if you if you double click in this, it will bring up. Oh, I can show you the correct one. If you, uh, let me this one. It will bring you up like this one. And it will stay there and, will, and it will say press any key. I will show you that one. But if you change this one to minimize, it will be, uh, you know, it will obviously be minimized. It will not, it will be in this state. So now you cannot accidentally, you know, press a key and it will then switch monitors when you are in the game. But you need to you know, press it or go there and then press a key. I, for me, I like this. It's a bit of the safety. 
and this is pretty much everything but I'm gonna show you how it looks but I'm gonna to remove this one just uh, for fun So ignore everything I'm doing right now. This is not something you do. This is just to show you kind of how it looks. This is not really necessary. You're not going to see this, but what the hell. So then you, you double click. And it will switch. You will see that this, the taskbar, is going to jump over to your television and it's going to be your main monitor you should be able to game HDR, G-Sync, everything then when you're done you can simply click this window or you can use Alt tab and it will look, look like this press any key to continue and when you press a key it will switch back the monitors a very easy convenient way to be gaming quickly and smoothly on your television or second monitor well, for whatever reason. But I just wanted to show this because this is really something that's been helpful to me, you know, to not have to go into the settings, you don't have to press down, scroll and do all of this. And if you're on your television you might be, you know, further away from your computer or keyboard or whatever. And with the with the script it's very easy, you know, you can alt tab it, just press a key. Or you can use it, you know, you don't have to use minimize like I do. Uh, and then when you close the game, it, if you only have like the game open, it should switch focus to the command window. And you, could, you should just be able to press a key and will, you know, go back to normal without any kind of real input. And yeah, uh, feel free to leave a comment. And uh, if there's any problems or anything, I might... You know, I try to do my best to help, but I just want to do very quickly get this one out because I find it very useful.